are back on your Steamboat Today morning show. Special guest with me this morning, Susie Hawkins. Good morning. Good morning, Harper. You look lovely. Oh, as always. thank you. That's a nice way to start out an interview. I don't yeah. think anyone's ever said that to me before. <laughs> Thanks for being here this morning. First time on the big show. Yes. So great to have you here. I was reading up a little bit about your history, which is vast in the Yampa Valley. So just tell me a little bit about, we're going to talk about your real estate business, but I want to hear about you because you have such an interesting background. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, I first started coming up to Steamboat Springs as a young child with my dad. Steamboat Lake was always his favorite watering hole to be able to go fishing. So we'd come up and camp out. I learned how to cook coffee over an open flame. I learned about how wonderful the fish taste fresh out of the lake and then got it and cooked in a skillet. Oh, it was wonderful memories for me. Yeah. And then as time progressed and I became an adolescent, it got me out of the city. I grew up in Denver. It was wonderful to be able to come up to Steamboat, have weeks away from the city and the cool air and open air, all of the beautiful open space we have, yeah. our trees and lakes and fish and all the good things. I do. always say that Steamboat has a smell to me, right? I mean, and, and it's different from the winter to the summertime. There's definitely a Route County, Yampa Valley smell. I know that sounds weird to people, but you get yes. what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so let's talk about real estate because you say it's, it's in your blood. So talk to me about the generations. Yes, my family started purchasing real estate in 1964 in Colorado. So I grew up with the thrill of the buy, the accomplishment of the sell, the day-to-day -day troubleshooting for property management. It's in my blood and I'm able to pass that on to my customers, I believe. My customers are all unique, just as your interviews have got to be every one of them unique. So I can provide personalized service for my customers. It allows me an opportunity to be able to listen to what they want and provide what they want. It's such a scary proposition, right? Whether you're buying or selling or you know getting into the real estate market, especially right now in this these trying economic times that we have, you uh, you have a um, you have to be a certain person for these people who get into that market. You have to be calming, you have to be educated, you have to be a lot of things for these people, right? Yes, that's true, and I hope that I can be all of those things to my clients. Okay, so talk about, uh, you, you do take on a unique um, perspective when going into the real estate market. You're, you're very individualistic. You go in and you, like, you want to know about the person. So, so explain to me how that differs from maybe some of the other realtors in town. For me, every deal has to be a win-win. It has to be a win-win for my clients. It has to be a win-win for the other side of the transaction as well. Because I build everything on my reputation and my reputation will come back and circle around. I need to be able to make certain that every transaction is for s successful for all people concerned. Okay, so what would you say to people right now? Because so, people are still kind of like, oh, should I buy, should I sell? There's still you know, a lot of question marks in the real estate world. Do you have some, some advice about that? There's challenges <laughs> in everything and real estate is very cyclical. I have seen down times and up times. This market will turn around. Okay. I have no idea when it will <laughs> turn around. It's certainly a very good buyer's market and I have been able to help some people in Steamboat Springs relocate to the Front Range as well. Okay. As I grew up in Denver and I can sell real estate there. Okay, well, and that's such a nice thing too. You hear about these kind of the big box r real estate companies that you know are around, and then there's the people who grew up in the valley, grew up, you know, know about the Front Range. You you know everything about you know this corner of the state and the Front Range. So that's a, a nice little niche for you as well. Yes, it's a nice niche for me, but it makes it a nice niche for my clients. More importantly, yes. right? It's all yes. about that win-win, Susie. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, what is the best way for people to get a hold of you and, and get more information about you? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and call 879-6702. Makes it that easy. All right, sounds good. And we're looking at your uh, your lovely logo there, Fallen in Love? Yes. Question mark to explain that to me. <laughs> oh, uh, that was come up. That was developed by my marketing person, okay, Jason Loeb, and it just said it all to me. So many people that come to Steamboat, they do fall in love. Yeah. And the people that are here have fallen in love. It's all about quality of life, isn't it? It is, and you can fall in love over and over and over again, yes. I found, in Steamboat Springs. Nice to have you here this morning. We'll be chatting again with you very soon. Yes, thank you so much, Thank Harper. you, Susie Hawkins. Make sure you check her out. Give her a call. Just pick up the phone. That's all it is. We'll be right back with more Steamboat today.